hello beautiful people listening to aroma welcome to the channel so today we're going to be checking this video and it's titled the turning point nana aqua reveals sobering moment prince harry saw mega Marco's true colors oh really yo interesting so today we're going to be checking this video so you other guys see let's check it out the battle of the jams continues as king charles launches and starts selling his new project a message here, I suspect, of Meghan Markle. Anything you can do, I can do better. Now, the product, described as a beautifully delicate honey from the monarch's private estate, is the latest to hit the shelves as Meghan Markle is set to make her next move regarding American Riviera Orchard, or as I like to call her site, another ridiculous offering. Produced by royal bees on the Highgrove estate, the king's organic soft-set honey makes a fantastic gift for food lovers with its distinctive lime flavour. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, Meghan. Although, to be fair, Harry might try. Speaking of which, Harry is currently in a bit of a sticky situation after deleting what could be seen as evidence for his phone hacking trial. In his oral ruling, the judge described troubling evidence that a large number of potentially relevant documents, confidential messages between the claimant and his ghostwriter of Spare, as well as all the drafts of Spare, were destroyed sometime between 2021 and 2023, well after this claim was underway, well after this claim was underway. Amidst all of this, King Charles continues and Queen Camilla uh, with their royal duties recently arriving in the Scottish capital to conduct royal engagements to celebrate Holyrood Week, which is all about celebrating the people of Scotland and their culture and communities. Midweek, the King, accompanied by Prince William and also the Duchess of Ed Edinburgh, will attend the Thistle service at St Giles' Cathedral for the installation of the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh to the Order of the Thistle. Oh, we love all that. I love a bit of pomp and ceremony. Now, I've got two lovely guests here with me in the studio. Lee Cohen joining in person rather than from Palm Springs, Florida. Why on earth did he come? The weather's terrible here. Yeah. And one of our favourites, Lizzie Cundy. Right. I'm going to start with Prince Harry. A petition has been launched to stop him from receiving the uh, Pat Tillman Memorial Award in Hollywood next month. Uh, tell us a bit more about this, Lee. Well, uh, on, on background, Nana, uh, mm. Pat Tillman was uh, really an American hero who quit a football career, mm. uh, a successful football career, to enlist in the armed services. And very sad, sadly, tragically, mm. he got killed by friendly fire on Afghanistan. So um, a lot of people think that uh, this is really inappropriate. Mm. I mean, when there's so many who've done so many good things yeah. for for, uh, for veterans, um, it really, this is in the name of a hero. Um, you know, why should Prince Harry, who actually uh, is stepped away from his service in well, the well, UK? Well, also, he talked about his kill count in his book, Spare, yeah. uh, which kind of put him, probably more made him more of a target, but also something that apparently soldiers never reveal. Well, in... It, it, this has inflamed people so much mm. to the fact that even uh, Mr. Tillman's mother has objected to this oh, and has has inquired why, of all people, has Prince Harry been named, uh, you know, to, to this honour? Yeah. Yes. Lizzie Cundy. Well, I mean, there's actually a petition has been launched for him, to stop him getting and receiving this award. And the whole of uh, the family don't want him to get it. They think it's very disrespectful. And they're also looking at the reasonings behind why Harry would get this mm. award. There is something that is not cool about this. I can feel if Harry he is awarded, there's going to be trouble. I expect there to be booze. And when they, you know, their own family don't want Harry to get this award, that's, you know, they've really got to look at this again. Well, well, what could be the reason for him getting it? I'm just confused. Is it, I mean, what is it that he's done? I know he went to Afghanistan, but all the royals do serve in the armed forces, so it's nothing unusual there. And he served whilst there was a war, but he had to come back. So, uh, yes, he set up this, um, what's the thing called that he set up? I've forgotten it now. The Invictus uh, Games. Invictus Games, yes. sorry. Yes. Menopause, darling. Yes. Sometimes things are very <laughs> I can look at somebody, literally be staring at them and completely have no idea who they are. <laughs> often in the often. morning, darling, <laughs> often in the morning. No, but seriously, uh, the Invictus Games, okay, so that was launched, but... 
Well, you I know. I, I think we know that um, in the United States, there's a lot of value in having, uh, we don't have royalty, you see. So uh, there's a lot of value in engaging famous people, celebrities mm. uh, to, to charities, because the, the thought is that they'll raise a lot of money for those things. And in fact, um, Harry was given another ridiculous award not too long ago, um, something about uh, amazing aviators. That wasn't the exact name mm. of it. But oh, yes, I remember that. Yes, yeah. yes. And a lot, a lot of people's award in aviation. Exactly. I don't even think he flew, flew the helicopters or whatever it was. He was. He didn't. But he probably sat in the front of somebody else pushing the buttons. Well, and we've got to just give like Harry he does pre- now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But look, Harry's done amazing things with the Victus Games. That's one thing I think he does deserve praise for. Yeah. But to, to receive this award with the with the. the that, you know, Pat Tillman's family actually saying it's disrespectful. Mm. He's a controversial figure mm. and he's a decisive figure mm. and they don't want him to receive it. Mm. So for Harry then to, to get this award mm. is totally disrespectful. Mm. Seems very odd. I, I don't know why they're giving it to him, but fair enough. Look, um, we'll, we'll see what happens. It'll mm. be interesting to see the sort of backlash that comes with it. Now, Meghan Markle... Because indeed, I mean... If people are raising concerns regarding this, him receiving this award, they have the right to more so the family itself. I mean, the family itself, it speaks so much volume. Because, yeah, if he was given an award for something else or for something that he actually is involved in, and whatnot is completely different. I mean, let me know what you think. Because, I mean, what is the reason why he's gifted or given this award? It's unknown. I mean, it raised so much questions. And lots, do you think people are wrong? Like, really? Let's put the um, side that lots of people um, don't like Harry a word of what not. But let's just look at it in all fairness. Does he really deserve the award? Or do you think people are wrong for raising their concerns? I don't think there are. Let alone the family. It's not wrong. Uh, but again, let's see how it goes, just like what Nana Aqua said. Let's go on. See the sort of backlash that comes with it. Now, Meghan Markle, she, her new podcast is at risk of failure unless key changes are made. Lizzie Cundy. Yes, uh, Meghan Markle's new podcast by Lemonada, they're going to re-release it, but they're just sort of rehashing it. It's the same old stuff, mm. just with wow. new titles. Mm. Now, for this podcast to succeed, there needs to be drastic change First of all, Megan needs to learn to listen because as an interviewer, you do have to listen. And one thing we found with her previous podcast, she didn't. She didn't. It was all me, 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 me. And also, sadly, she has lost a lot of her celebrity contacts. Mm. Now, uh, one I've just read about, um, about the Beckhams in the Bowers' new mm. book, mm. Um, mm. which is called The House of Beckham, Money, Sex and Power. And in this, we hear how Meghan totally told Harry not to be pictured with David Beckham um, at the Invictus Games. She wants all the glory for themselves. She didn't want the competition, as she knew they were big stars. But how does he know all that in his book? I mean, well, but what he's he, put in there, whilst, you know, I respect it and I love the fact that these people write books and memoirs and so on but where, where how does he know because that he talks happened? to actual very close friends he he's already wrote a book on megan as we know and he he knows all the sources mm-hmm. he has the best royal contacts i was with his wife the other day and you were with his wife yes oh, yes really? with that for yes for the music oh fund. drop that in well, i do drop that in <laughs> but this, he, he goes places he's like water he gets everywhere mm-hmm. tom bauer and he knows the right people to ask and sadly megan has really upset a lot of celebrities. Mm. Gone are the George Clooney's, mm. the Oprah Winfrey's. She hasn't got them anymore. Mm. So she's now going to have to look at non-celebrity experts. Mm. Will that have the same pull? I don't think so. Oh, dear. I remember in her podcast when she said about Serena, I thought it was, it was Serena Williams. She was, mm. Serena Williams said, I love the way you speak, the way you talk to me, because she was saying things like, oh, I love you, you and, you know, mm. really sycophantic, sort of creeping, and it was quite, quite distasteful, I have to say. Well, you know, I think one interesting thing, Nana, is, and, and Lizzie said she needs to learn to listen. Well, in 
it was reported mm. that on some of these podcasts, she didn't even do the interviewing, but rather her staff did the interviewing and oh, they simply God. put in her voices. So you ask, is there anything she should do to change wow. around for this new round of podcasts? Perhaps she should actually be present and engage with the people oh, she's oh, interviewing. Oh, I mean, do, 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 do you think? Oh, do you think? Well, I think it would be great if she's hosting it to be the actual host and not mm. get her staff to do it. Mm. But now I hear she's having to get a rely on her old cast members of of suits mm. and she's fallen out with a lot oh, of them because no. they she didn't want it. to know them when she met Harry mm. as she did myself. Mm. She mm. ghosted a lot of them and now she's got to go back with cap in hand saying will you come on this podcast are they going to want to do it? Well oh, let's face God. it mm. the, they the, the couple are Hollywood toxicity and they are box office poison you know they've been dropped by spotify they've been called names that this is this is a family show that i know you don't mm. want me to mm. say they've been the butt of jokes from everyone south from park. south park from cartoons to comedians i mean this was a, a big u-turn because before hollywood was really celebrating them because they shared their values mm. they they were charging for some a lot of the same causes uh and now uh, you know it's it seems they can't even get people what, to... What do you think the turning point has been? Because there's been lots of things where you still hear people go, oh, but she's lovely, she's this, and you think, well, after everything, what do you think in America, the final sort of nail... Uh, well, as as one American who's never been on on Team Megan, mm. I shouldn't say that. I was very excited at the beginning. We at all the beginning. were. Yes, yeah. I was very excited, mm. and she looked lovely, and uh, the royal family looked mm. very happy to yeah. receive her. And then the trouble started, and <laughs> yes, and I think you know all about the trouble, the reports from uh, palace staff and everything else. And you know, as as you know, she was probably never a fit for this job. No. She probably had no interest in Harry's country, do, your country. Do you think, I think she sort of had the visions like Princess Ariel or one of the princesses yeah. mm. that that's what it would be. Mm, mm. And then she realised that she actually yeah. had to do some work. Well, yeah, she thought she was going to mm. be like this Hollywood princess. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and sadly, when you're a royal, you have to put mm. the, mm. the work in. I mean, look at Princess Anne, one of our hardest mm -hmm. working royals. And Prince mm. Charles. And Prince Charles. And, Charles, and, Charles and King Sorry, Charles and Kate, mm. who yes. do it so effortlessly. Mm -hmm. She did nothing but win and moan and I don't think the Americans like anyone moaning yes. and slating but the you, royal family. Do you think that was the turning point? Do you think there's one thing that I, really sort of turned even her biggest fans off her? I mean, th there have been so many things. I think it's been cumulative, but I think that Harry's memoir, where he uh, memoir? absolutely slammed, you know, he slammed Queen Camilla, mm. uh, he, he, he slammed Kate, he slammed his own father. He, he, he even, um, uh, even his own beloved grandparents yes. were mentioned. And, and, um, Americans, like everyone else in the world, held the Duke of Edinburgh and uh, the the late yeah, beloved queen in such high regard. In yeah. such high regard. But you can't. Uh, do you know what I think that really the turning point was? And I and I say this because all the different things mm. that uh, sort mm. of Meghan did, and uh, also Harry, a lot of them could have almost been excused. But I actually think that it was when uh, the king was ill. And also the fact that Meghan has not gone to see her dad mm. since he's been mm. sick. Mm. And yeah. so it wasn't mm. just the first time at the mm. wedding, which was, wasn't great because he wasn't well, so mm. he couldn't attend. Mm. And she's not contacted him, apparently, as far as we know. But I think this one, where then he had the stroke and then she didn't yeah. bother seeing him. Totally. And then the difference when mm -hmm. Harry, when mm -hmm. the king was ill, Harry went to see the king. Mm. Yeah. And I'm afraid that right there, mm. I think, for me, mm. if I was ever... That was, yeah. for me, the moment where I thought, well, even your own husband must be looking at you thinking, I'm well, not going to go see your I mean, dad. She has, I mean, her own father is mm. not heard from her at all. Mm. He's reached out mm. many times. Mm. And she could have solved yeah. this easily mm. and mm. brought him in, had a chat, said, look, this is how it's done. Have a, have a scone mm. and some cream and jam and a tea. And so I'm making feel well, mm. it was all her own jam. I would t rather have Charles's. But, uh, <laughs> it, you know, she did everything mm. the wrong way. Mm. And here she is now trying to launch this new podcast, mm. the 
fact is you've got to have engaging guests mm. and yeah. connect with an audience with real issues. Mm. And also, as I said, listen, she does none of the above. Well, you... I, I just want to let you know, yeah. and, I, and the British people who are listening know, we, have a, we Americans have a terrible track record of marrying into your royal family. We've had two absolute disasters, the first being in 1936 <laughs> yes. with uh, Wallace Simpson, and then uh, yes. when, when Meghan married Harry. And we have lovely, dutiful, intelligent, hardworking women in America. And I wish, I wish that your royal family would, would engage some of those. Well, but you know, look, you can't, very you, similar, actually. You, you can't, you can't help who you fall in love with, even though you might try. And also, you know, I, that, I, I don't think that Meghan isn't hardworking. I think she's hardworking, but sort of... Not for herself. Uh, but for herself, you know, <laughs> there doesn't seem to be well, an I, understanding of what. Anyway, I want to move on to David yeah. Beckham. But before we even go on, let's even talk about this. Hearing that she did not do the podcast herself, it was a voiceover. Are you kidding me? Wait, yo, let me know if you've heard about this before. Because this right here don't make sense. So it means so it seems like she don't want to do the work, but she wants to enjoy all of the benefits. Seriously? Wow. And to see that she has caught off ties with friends or people who thought who are supposed to be friends or and she wants to teach people in a podcast about friends, family. Yo, uh, this is interesting. So now you understand for me i i have to be honest i didn't know about mega marco before and it was because of prince harry that i got to know about her i thought they were a beautiful couple together up until i started hearing stuff and things and i'm like wait what how did what what went wrong and then she's saying the fact that she the fact that so now you're not seeing the patterns how it all came about one minute harry was very interested in the royal duties in his family and stuff and then he met her the, from the moment he met her everything changed because it is so unrecognizable so who is the influence here burning bridges with friends family wow that sounds like so much of a good influence from a partner. Yeah, she loved the Hollywood, Hollywood lifestyle, the glamour and everything. But do you have friends there? Okay, yeah. The elites, it is good to have them in, right in your corner. But how about the other people? So, it, I mean, this is what, when people keep saying that this is a selfish act, lots of people think that, oh, you're just saying it because you don't like this person. But really, let's be honest with ourselves. I mean, even us as regular people, when we notice or see this pattern, I don't think people want to associate with those people or those kind of people who always want to be friends with you because they can get something from you or only when it's beneficial to them. I don't think regular any of us as regular people want that want it. Because her it it, it looks like her coming into the royal family and uh she thought using that would open way or pave more ways or give her the climb ladder to meet with the Hollywood elite or Hollywood elite, which makes sense because I mean the princess title or being part of the royal family yeah lots of people would love that love to be part of the royal family because i mean who doesn't want to look cute want to dress really nice princess cinderella all of that the prince uh, meeting the prince charming and everything lots of people would love it or love the lifestyle but i mean can you keep up oh yo No, none of this is making sense honestly none is making sense let me know what you think 
have you heard about this regarding the podcast because i mean it's not even surprising harry's um change of attitude or harry being unrecognizable ever since he met Mexit is not even surprising because i mean these are things that lots of people see or experience and it's not uncommon but this burning bridges and then trying to teach people about friends and family that is even the most shocking part let me know what you think let's go on I want to move on to David yeah. Beckham. I want to move on to David yes. Beckham. What do we know about that? Because Tom Bauer has written a book. Yes, you to Tom, Tom, uh, Tom Bauer and I said I was with his um, mm. lovely wife uh, in the week. Um, the House of Beckham, um, it's very interesting because um, I remember when I was with Meghan Markle, mm. Victoria Beckham came to Eva Longoria's event. I was next to Meghan and she squealed with excitement so loudly. I had to tell her that that's not so cool, be, be cooler, because it was a bit embarrassing. But she couldn't believe that Victoria Beckham was in the same room with her. She couldn't wait to be with her and be pictured with mm. her. Now, um, sadly, this has come round to bite her on the derriere, may I say, because she... she didn't want to be pictured with them. She pushed David Beckham out. He was at the Invictus Games, which is a great cause. Mm. He will bring great press, mm. yeah. you know, and publicity, as mm. the Beckhams always do. Love them or loathe them. That's what they do. And she pushed them away because she didn't want the competition. And now she needs them. She needs them for this podcast. But they're distancing themselves. And that's the sad truth with many yeah. celebrities, not just here, mm. but I over just, the pond. I think it's... Do you know what? The more I talk about it, the, the more I feel it's, it's quite sad, really. I don't actually think it's... You know, yeah, part of me at the beginning, I thought that the whole relationship and the wedding was wonderful. But the more I see it, the more I, I actually feel sympathy for both of them. And I wish they would just like bring their, their children in to meet the grandparents. I think apparently uh, uh, King Charles may well be travelling to America. That's what they're saying to go and see well, uh, the children. Well, wouldn't you think that they would bring them to Charles? He's yes. going through yeah. cancer treatment. Yeah. He's yes. seventy-five years old. Mm. He has so much on his plate. Yes. You'd think that she would actually be giving and say, you know what, we will take that flight, we'll do it, and do it in privacy, not have everyone, you know, mm. knowing about mm. it. Mm. Um, and one of the great joys of, you know, of being a grandparent is being with your grandchildren. For him not to have that relationship is very, very sad. Yeah. And the same for her own father. <clears throat> mm, mm, mm. Well, my, my little boy, um, Ivory, he's only six, or well, he's seven in a few days. He said, Mummy... If if you have grandchildren, you be called Nana Nana. <laughs> I, I said very. I said very. Good. You're so cute. He's a bright boy. Yeah, yeah. It's very funny. Anyway, anyhow, well, less about me. Well, on I'd rather talk about you than Megan well, any day, to be honest with you. But having said that, um, you know this this is someone who was never well suited um, for the, for this role. Uh, we don't in America have yeah. Yeah. a royal family, as you know. Um, and uh, much to some of our... But she could have learned. I mean, like, I don't take that, because I think that if you you might not be suited to something, but this is yeah, something where you learn, and mm -hmm. it depends whether you're available and open to learning. So I, I think, and she's not she's not stupid, she's very intelligent, she made a fair bit of money herself, mm -hmm. she's got all the things that she mm -hmm. wanted to That's get, great. including uh, she managed exactly. to marry a prince, mm -hmm. so she can, you know, she's a chameleon, she can move in. Uh, I agree with things, you partially. She, don't forget, she had all I those agree. pictures outside yeah. Buckingham Palace. Yeah. There was apparently a picture of Prince William, mm -hmm. not Harry, on her wall. She, mm -hmm. she was obsessed with Princess no, Diana. Well, well, let's talk about William, yeah. actually. Yeah. Uh, because uh, even though, as we talk, we've been talking about Harry and Meghan a lot, Harry is sort of trying to woo over America. It seems that William is top dog, really. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, there, there was a, a, uh, an opinion poll that was done, I believe it was by Reuters. Um, it, it was done, I believe, this year, mm. where uh, Prince William ranked higher than any of our own politicians in the United States. That's probably not so surprising. <laughs> That's a very low bar, I'm, I'm sad to say. But yes. um, having said that, Americans have great affection and admiration for yeah. the royal family, mm. uh, particularly the, the memory of the, the, the beloved queen yeah. who passed away. Um, and But 
it, it's partially uh, we want what we can't have mm. because you have something so rarefied in them, so special. <laughs> um, and <clears throat> we have Sorry. all the money that can buy anything, and yet we can't buy yeah, yeah. the status yeah. of the royal family, yeah. the history of the royal family. We can't buy the carriages and the yeah. palaces. And But it's, it's something more than that. You said a little bit ago that Meghan could have learned. Mm, but you know what? Have. I think... True royal service mm. and grace, the grace mm. that the Princess of Wales mm. has, the grace that uh, the Duchess of yeah. Edinburgh has, mm. the, Duch uh, the grace that Princess Anne has. I think, I think you have to be born well, with Well, that. she's yeah. an actress. She could have acted it. I yeah. don't know why um, she, yeah. she, she doesn't. Sadly, Meghan doesn't know the real meaning of duty, mm. royal duty, mm. and what mm. that actually means mm. and what it actually means to this country. Mm. And with her whinging and moaning about the royal family, all it's done is make her pop popularity drop yeah. to the bottom. I mean, that was a mistake. And I have to say, um, <coughs> Prince William, my friends in America, have said the way he has continued on with his wife, you know, going through cancer treatment mm -hmm. and it, how he's been with everything, mm. with, with the people. And, you know, we saw him at Taylor Swift there boogieing mm. away. <laughs> and it, it, his popularity has, has shot up there. And I think they really admire him, how he's coping. You know, don't forget, he's yeah. a human being. He's a father. <laughs> and what that family is going through at the moment. <clears throat> now, what about, dad. what about Prince of Beatrice? Because despite not being a working <laughs> member yes. of the royal family, she's recently demonstrated her potential to be sort of more active in the role. What do we know about Princess well, Beatrice? Beatrice, I'm not going to name drop again, but I was with her on Wednesday. Oh, really? Were you? <laughs> I was indeed. And she filled in for Prince William at the Earthshot um, Prizes Water Round Table as uh, I think William, William and Charles hosted the Japanese emperor mm. who was over. Mm. Um, and she did a marvellous job. And I think as we're seeing, um, you know, with King Charles mm -hmm. not well and our Kate, that we need to rely on Beatrice and Eugenie, you know, and Zara Tyndall. They're, they're <laughs> very popular. Mm -hmm. And they're really hard working. Look, they're independent. They have their own careers, mm -hmm. but they they love the royal family yeah. and they have the real sense of royal mm -hmm. duty. Mm -hmm. No, you and and you have to wonder. You know, when when the Princess Royal had that terrible accident uh, last week. Yeah. yeah. I I just thought I read that and I thought. But the first thing I thought of was, who are going to carry out these royal mm -hmm. duties? Because you know, it, it, the king had talked about slimming down the monarchy, but he couldn't possibly have seen mm. the sad, you know, health issues that were to come. And I think it makes complete sense, particularly, uh, I, I, I've never seen Princess Beatrice put a, put a foot wrong. Mm. You know, she's had her own life, she's had her own career, and mm. she's a young mother, and those could, those could be difficult transitions because she wasn't groomed to be a working royal. Mm. Uh, but Kate wasn't groomed to be a working royal Well, that's either. what I was saying right. about Meghan. She right. could easily have... Well, <laughs> a different, a different <laughs> mindset. So. What I love yeah. about Beatrice and both of the girls, they, they love their mm. mum. They're very close, mm -hmm. the three of them. Mm -hmm. And she is it's so gracious and she ch talks to everyone, mm -hmm. you know, at this do on, on Wednesday. She was actually sitting, hugging, and, oh, you know, and she was so really so, has the common touch. If all you right, know. so any chance for a return for Andrew? Last word. Well, a uh, chance for a return for Andrew? I, I, I don't think so. I think that um, they, they did that recent Netflix thing about Andrew, and I said, I don't think they need to do this again. Yeah. They're dr dredging up old stuff. But I, I'm not so sure. Lizzie Gundy, very no, briefly. No, I'm afraid not. No, no. Uh, in a word, no. Well, listen, Lee, have you, have you enjoyed it? You're here live instead of down the line. <laughs> the highlight of this visit, Nana, has been meeting you and, and the great Lizzie Cundy. So I am so pleased to be here. I hope we're going to do this again sometime. We hope. Thank you for joining me in the studio, both Lee Cohen. Thank you so much, Lee, and also the brilliant Lizzie Cundy. For any more information on the royal family, please uh, head to gbnews.com forward slash America. I'm Nana Aquir. I'm very much with Nana Akwa on this. Megan could have acted her way through in the royal family. Because, I mean, yeah, lots of people who, lots of, let's say for the royals or for the working royals, some, some of them were born into the family, but at the same time, they were groomed. So, I mean, Megan Marco could have groomed herself or learned. It's not that big of a deal to learn. I mean, lots of things people learn. I don't think anybody came to this world and all of a sudden they knew something. They learned something or learned how to be or be 
part of the working world but of course he she as a, uh, she did not want to work for it but she loved the title but let's even talk about this because obviously knowing the king's health issues and everything it don't make sense for him to travel to all the way to america montecito rather she and uh, she could travel or the family the substances could travel with the kids to uk or to england to see the king i mean really no let's just look at it for for the kids for people to even hear this that the king has to leave the palace or the king has to with health issues visit wow the level of disrespect i mean when you look at some of the actions or some of the things you keep wondering like where did it all go wrong seriously where did it all go wrong but of course yeah um when she wanted to get into the family present this face for them to like you see um that soft uh, surface level and be like oh yeah a good fit but then when she's in the family the true self came in or came out and um i mean so now that um the rare uh, family is brand worthy it's a good thing to come back in and chip in for their brand to up, uh, make their brand look good really but let's even talk about this because i mean lots of people respected or uh, lots of people respect the late queen regardless of whether people know much about the royal family and stuff and honestly let's just be honest from where i'm where i'm from we know except the wife or the woman uh, newly gave birth then the parents or the mother mo most likely would visit or travel to visit the family and take care of the woman and stuff and all of that is the uh, mother's responsibility or, or the husband mother to visit and take care of it they call it omugo other than that if the parent is battling health issues the parents don't need i mean this is very common even a child from where i'm from we're not even talking about america a child knows that if your parents is battling health issues you are to go see your parents not your parents coming to see you and to even think of the fact that the king regardless of the health issues and everything is traveling to go see or he wants to visit to go see his grandkids the love the passion he has for them they can't even return the same wow it speaks so much volume i mean she's so much a good influence and our kids are watching their kids are watching what are they going to tell their kids this behavior itself is a is a narcissistic behavior somebody who be want to be friends with people when it's only beneficial for what for them it honestly don't make sense i mean it's common to see in hollywood and amongst the celebrities is very common in their lifestyle or co very common amongst them but i mean it honestly don't make sense and this is what we continuously see people think or act like it's nothing it is not nothing that is a narcissistic behavior really but let me know what you think this was an interesting conversation regardless i would really love your honest contribution you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video